Wow. Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement on this day that feels like it has been forever and coming, but also we're here already, which is the season two finale, finale, right? Of Invincible. And I, I would be shocked if they wrap anything up. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get cliffhangers. We have to, there's just too much. There's Nolan, there's Alan sneaking his way onto the prison barge. We've got Levy, Levy, Levy. <laughs> We've got, what's up with Donald? Is Donald resolved? Donald may be resolved. Debbie's gonna go on a date. What's up with the Muller twins? Anissa? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot to accomplish in 53 minutes and 58 seconds. Okay, 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 so we're just gonna strap in and we're just gonna go. You're going to get under your big cozy blanket, get all your pillows. I don't know if about you, but when I sleep at night, I have to have a nest of pillows. So hopefully you have your nest. You got your favorite beverage. I'm trying something new. Um, it is a limoncello sparkling water and grenadine. It just seemed festive. I'm still coming down from my pitcher of margaritas from two days ago. Uh, you're gonna remember full episode watch longs available on Patreon. Now's a good time to also hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And we're just gonna get to it. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mom. When are you coming home? Boom! He's there instantly! With dust flying behind him. Is this on the prison barge? I guess I could just be slightly patient and wait for the big reveal, huh? I was thinking about. Oh! They didn't tell you who I was, did they? No. Enough. Now, Nolan, in the um, Viltrumite hierarchy of powers, where does Nolan land? You know I wouldn't miss this. You flatter me. Oh, this was him. Supposed to be executed. Gotcha. Oh, oh God. Oh God. This is. You got this, Taylor. Keep this up. Oh. Mm. You'll feel. <laughs> so they did reveal the whole thing. And those who read the novels will. That means that color scheme means something. There's a chance you could kill me before I snap her neck. I'm not sure. Is the Mark Grayson of this dimension a risk taker? Sometimes. It would appear not. Oh, and before I forget, <laughs> I'm blocking all signals within these four walls. I wouldn't want us to be interrupted. Yeah, you would think Cecil and his gang would have been there way before Mark because they would have seen Levy come in. I don't know why you're here, but I'm warning you. You really don't remember who I am. When we met before, you hadn't done this to me. We know who's really responsible for the brain head. That guy? That's all you remember of me? That I was that guy? So now, I'll always have a reminder of you and what you did. Now, Angstrom may be smart, but I don't think he's quick. Debbie, run. Come get me. Oh, but he's got the portals, right? Forgot about that. But he's still not quick. But he's got portals. The portals. But Mark didn't know about the portals. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Ah, dinosaurs. But Mark should be okay with dinosaurs. He's fought other... Things. Thing. Oh, wait, they're talking. Looking right at it. I was but a hatchling when I last tasted their succulent flesh. Mm, I want to This is my worst nightmare. Stay back. Just 
Just fly Mark into a pterodactyl. What dimension is this one, though? Okay. I like your brother's color. You know, I haven't encountered him in any other reality yet. Isn't that interesting? Okay, is this when Baby Oliver gets some powers? And lasers him in the face. But don't worry. I have no intention of hurting your brother or your mother. So do them a favor and die. Oliver! No! He threw the baby! He threw the baby. Oh, that ant man. Let's get this guy webbed up. What? No, are you wait, are you trying to hurt this old man? Look, I saw the portal. I know you're from another dimension. Got way too much experience with that, especially lately. What you got? Glowing red eyes, man. How am I supposed to? Shut up! You said you wouldn't hurt us. No, I said you were safe. For now. Don't. One wrong move, and they fall. Okay, Mark. You have to come up with a different plan. What happens if you just stand there? You're not gonna hurt them. And you're not gonna hurt me. I, I'm sorry I didn't remember you. But I remember that night. You were trying to save me. <sighs> trying to save you? After all the pain and suffering you've caused? <clears throat> Darn it, Mark! Quit falling for that! I wouldn't save him. Not me, not ever. Couldn't. Wouldn't! <laughs> Debbie, now would be a good time to run. But you... Tell Chainsaw. Everything's gonna be. I'll tell you what. I'll kill the boy quickly. No! Oh, they went there. <sighs> Getting flashbacks to the finale of season one and the carnage. I don't think any of those dimensions had Debbie. He deserves to die right now! <gasps> it's over. It'll never be over until I've made you pay for everything you've done. I am not flying through any more of your stupid portals. You can't hurt me with that. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, jeez. We got a zombie dimension. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Just fly, Mark, fly. I don't think these zombies can fly, can they? No, in all my research, I didn't learn how long his kind can go without food. Oh, Jeffy. No! Oh. Where's Cecil? 
by the way. He would have seen Levy there. All right. Oh, jeez. As soon as the communication went out in the house, Cecil would go something sus and would have come down. Yes. You think you're innocent in all this? In so many other dimensions, you join your husband and son when they slaughter millions and make the earth burn. Does she know? I would hope. Not me. I raised the boy who defied his father and saved this planet. From what you say, you make it sound like this is the one world where Mark is good, and you're the one who's bad. Oh, that's why you're so angry. Because you turned out rotten here, and Mark is the hero for once. <laughs> not the villain! Well... <gasps> Your son is the monster! Okay. I'm going to make your son hurt. I'm gonna make... Sure. I'm even gonna make this child. And you're not the villain? He's not the villain. So I, I, he opens another portal as soon as I come out with no gap in between them. So it's just a tunnel to somewhere else. Time is all weird too. So I don't even know how long it's been. Wow. Mark. How did you get here? I mean, you're a man who dresses like a bat, and your name is... What is happening? You know, I mean, like, don't you think that's kind of lazy? <laughs> I told you, I wasn't in the mood. Let <laughs> <laughs> go. Mark. Is it? Mom. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Finally! He got him out of the house. Uh, remember those doctors I told you about? <laughs> so they made him strong. They also improved it. <laughs> oh. Oh. I believe he can fly, eh? How do I do it myself? <sighs> this is when Mark loses more teeth. <laughs> Has Mark directly killed anyone before? I don't remember. This doesn't end until you and your family are dead. Little aliens. Stop threatening my family! Martian cichlids. Are we counting those? Not Martians, but aliens. How much I've been holding back. I'll never let anyone ever. Oh. Battle mode has been released in Mark. And you are now trapped on this dimension. It's a lot of blood. Oh, you got matter on his hands. Well, Mark, you kind of didn't really have a choice, so you can feel bad. I thought you were stronger. Well, he's touting himself to be stronger. <laughs> now they show up, and the house is destroyed yet again. All clear. One injured woman and child. Yet again. I had to. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill him. He tried to kill me. He was going to kill my mom and my brother. A bajillion times over. I had no other choice. I thought he was stronger. He told me he was stronger. 
I can't get home now. I'm gonna die here. He is spiraling. You are spiraling, pumpkin. <laughs> I kind of want it. Oh, they're just gonna beat him up again? Council states that in order for a Viltramite to be executed, he must be whole and intact. So they're just gonna <laughs> do this over and... But they say nothing of oh, no. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna smash you two together. Sir, please. What's up, twins? I've looked up to you since I was a child. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, he's got the same eye like Mark. The plan worked. What? Oh. I'm here for you. Talk soon. Will they? As far as the eye can see, nothing. This is when I would start to be thinking, what gave Ingstrom his power to open portals? Was it his brain? Was it his blood? Was it some in his soul? <sighs> There's gotta be a way home. There has to be somewhere on this planet. There's got to be something. Or another planet? Maybe his body could somehow still... How? What? <gasps> oh. You look terrible. Wait. Which? Wait. The only logical reason for you to be stuck in this dimension would be if you injured or killed Angstrom Levy during your fight. We knew this long ago. How long ago? For us, it was 20 years ago. It took us that long to find this dimension. We've already said too much. Any more and we could disrupt the time stream. I'm opening a portal that will send you home. I... I don't know if I would have survived here. You did. But you wouldn't like what you had become. Oh... So Monster Girl survives for 20 years? Good to know. Mark, wait. I love you, Mark. I have for a very long time, and when you disappeared, I was devastated. I... I... We're doing this now. We're doing this now. Eve. Eve, I just broke up with Amber. Tell her. Tell her you love her. Or tell her you don't love her. Just tell her something. Tell her something so that she can go on with her life. Because I just broke up with Amber. <laughs> <gasps> Rex! Wait, Rudy. I suppose you weren't paying attention when we discussed not damaging the time stream. Shut up, Rex. Oh, it is Rex, Rex. His Rex Rex, not Rudy Rex. Oh. Ho, ho. Why is Rex a robot? What about Oliver? Not a scratch on a kid. Externally. Internally, I think there may be some dents. They all have, they all have the matching eyebrows. Or <laughs> black eyes. Wow. <laughs> is it over? Oh, Mark. <laughs> Not necessarily. Levy's over. We got lots more shit coming down. If the bad guys are dead and the good guys are alive, that's a good day. How do you know the difference? All the bad guys are usually ones who break people's arms. You're not him. So where are we now? Oh, immortal. Okay, this is home? This is home, this cabin. Immortal? <gasps> I'm sorry, I never told you. Oh, zero! I never told anyone. I always kept hidden. And lived through a copy. Just in case. Just in case I figured! That's what I would have done. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. It's okay. Everything's okay. For now. See, 
I would have put a zero, a copy somewhere. Just in case. Why do we have scarabs? Why do we have scarabs? What is this new thing? We don't need a new thing. Now you're trapped. Now you're trapped. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. Who will succumb to my influence? Wait. You're both female. And? <laughs> yeah. I must inhabit a living male host. <laughs> that sexist. <laughs> Oh, inconvenient. <sighs> What's breaking over them? <gasps> oh, Jesus, Mark. I'm strong enough, and I can do this. He needs counseling. He needs counseling now. Is Mark gonna get inhabited by a thing? You got your brother. This guy's brother. Everything automatic. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Debbie, just you need a new house. You need a new house. Like, location, location, location. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the street. <laughs> Oh, they got the ducks. <laughs> the ducks are still there. We should get dinner going. You've got class tomorrow, right? Right. I was coming to say goodnight, but... With one arm, Debbie. One arm! I'm quitting college. I'm missing all my classes, and the more I think about it, what's the point? This is your future you're talking about. You can't just quit college. With everything I can do, Tell me why I need to go to college. Ethics class, humanities, history. I can't. I just can't. Socialization. I have to learn how to control myself. It's the most important thing I can do. I have to get better. I have to be better. Do you understand? Mark. Do you? I do. Do you, Mark? I really do. I forget that he's like 18 and knows nothing about the world. Like most 18 year olds do. And that's why you go to school. Oh, Eve. Oh, Eve. <gasps> Eve. But you know I'm always here for you. If you ever need a shoulder, I, I've got two. I know. There's something else I want to talk to you about. It's nothing. I'm sorry. You don't deserve this. So how far away do you have to be from the person you're talking to, Alan? Yo, Nolan. Nolan. <laughs> I heard about what you did on Thraxa. We are on the same side now. Are we? Mark told me all about it. Wait, you saw Mark? Leave him out of this. This isn't his fight. Let the boy have a moment of peace. Mm -hmm. I feel shame and regret for my actions. As you should. See the suffering of lesser beings and it upsets me. You say that like it's a bad thing. The pain and destruction I caused was immeasurable. I deserve death. Oh God. <laughs> and yet. And yet. What? 
What is it? I think... I miss my wife. Which one? Was that really it? Was that really it? That's where we're going to leave it? <laughs> Didn't think that was going to be the last sentence of the season is I think, I think, I think I miss my wife. <sighs> the first thing that comes to my mind is the Mark thinking that he hasn't killed anyone. Because we know he killed some aliens in episode two, season one, that kept coming back and coming back and coming back. He killed a fuck ton of sequins. Collateral damage galore. So it's it's that that Superman justice, you know, Dawn of Justice, whatever, where just because you think you haven't physically <clears throat> somebody doesn't mean you haven't. Yeah, and as I said before, I forget that he's 18 and knows nothing. <laughs> he's got the mindset of an 18-year-old who has not gone out to experience the world. He hasn't gone out and talked to other people to get other points of views, to view situations, not just black and white. And he needs to. <laughs> he needs to. He needs to, otherwise you can, you, you're not the, the best person you can be, in my opinion. Especially if he wants to use his powers for good, you need to be able to, to do that. Otherwise you're gonna be a broken shell of a person. So what is the rest of it? So the rest of his journey, season three, is that his journey? Is him being, becoming more aware and involved and reconcile what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Why did we get the tomb? Why did we get the tomb? I do think it's funny, not haha, but huh, hmm, that all throughout the season without having his dad to talk to, he was looking for a fatherly-ish figure advice. Dean Winslow, Art, Cecil, Williams sometime. And I don't know if it's helped him at all. Should have helped him. Having hit all of those at some point in the season, Cecil trying to help him on the rooftop wasn't doing the trick. Why he didn't go out to any of the others to talk things out now. Interesting choice. And Kate saved herself. She had a spare in the back pocket. Yes, I don't know why that made me so happy. And I think it's because I hated that she died. Not that she's my favorite, but I enjoyed her. I mean, I found her slightly interesting, but the fact that she wasn't dead. Yay! Future Guardians. Interesting, we know Bulletproof survived, at least at some point. In some timeline, he survived. Eve survived, Rex survived, Monster Girl survived, so where was Rudy? But of course, now we've gone back in time and the timeline is now different, so who knows? So what do we have to look forward to in season three? We gotta have a Voltramite showdown on Earth. Nolan's gonna break free of prison. Apparently Anissa's gonna cause some <laughs> craptastic stuff. Muller twins, question mark, question mark. Thedius, Thedius, Thedius comes back. They gotta find the, the weapons that Nolan wrote about in his book. So there's lots, there's lots to dive into for season three, which will come eventually. We don't know at some point in time, but eventually we'll get it. And I want you, okay, we're gonna wrap this up. I want you to be right there for that me here, there. Mm, not here, cause I won't be in this facility when that episode season three drops. I know, but okay. What'd you think of this season? Was it satisfying? Yes. 
because we wrapped something up. The Levy situation, for the most part, oh crap, it wasn't wrapped up. What am I saying? It's lingering, it's lingering. <laughs> but at least physically he's not around anymore. Oh gosh, now I gotta think about this. This is one where you gotta sit and ruminate. Was I entertained? Yes. Did I enjoy myself? Mostly. Am I looking forward to next season? Yes. So all in all, that's a win? What do you all think? What do you all think? I'm very interested to know. This is a very, huh, season, which means you need to be back here for season three where we pick up. That's what that whole point I was trying to make. So hit subscribe if you haven't already. Do not be strangers. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves. This is your reminder to go stretch, have some water, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.